I'm really worried now, for Anna. Don't do this alone, Anna. For God's sake, don't. she doing? Where's the woman with the broken arm? I don't know. She must have left Willis. Look up her badge number and give me her location on the ship. You're gonna have to wait. Do it now. All right, easy. She's a service contractor. Her name is Melba Koa, K-O-H. Here, track her yourself. Oh, You're gonna need a gun. Well, you couldn't even use a gun. Oh, fuck's sake! Melba, listen to me. You cannot escape what you've done. Melba! Melba. You absolutely- oh! oh, God, fucking Naomi's out here too. It's gonna be okay. No one's gonna die that you love. It's gonna be fine. Back. Yeah. 
back to help, back to stay. Stay. I guess it took being away to understand that you're my family. Standing here is because of her. You hurt? Ah, uh, it's treat boss. It's inconvenient. Our oh, casualties. We lose about a hundred. A hundred more wounded. Medical supply are low. Uh, supplies won't matter much without gravity to heal. No way for us to make thrust now. We stuck. Then we spin the drum. And if it works, it will save many lives. Prepare to spin the drop. What? Are they gonna like create um, the gravity from the spin or something? Oh, yes! This bitch. No one needs your bullshit, Clarissa! that come in Anna's oh my god and now Anna's team Rusi yes play don't let her chew anything can you imagine the pain in Don't make me cry again, Ashford, for fuck's sake. Spin the drop. <sighs> Location stable. Effective gravity at inner surface. One to a Oh my god. How many lives? Leave all casualties to compartments within the drum and triage the wounded. Oh no. Give me a white beam. I 
want to talk to all the ships in this place. Channel open. This is Klaus Ashford, the captain of the OPA behemoth. We are all victims of the same catastrophe. This ship, my ship, can create spin gravity. So I am able to offer it to all of you. Bring your wounded here so that they may heal. You will be welcome. Belters embrace all of you. Our orders are unchanged. <coughs> We're to bring Holden to the Schusen for interrogation. But they're already loading up the other dropships with the wounded and transferring them to the behemoth. Bunch of skinnies saving us. This place keeps getting more and more fucked up. Fuck off. They've got the right idea. We're all in this shit together, and this is the only way we're going to get out of it. Oh, God, grow up, you absolute twat. Holden? The fuck? What happened in there? love this music this rendering of the theme who is singing this that voice though i basically cried for that entire episode i just cried oh my god I don't even think I have that much to say. I just thought that was beautiful. I love the way that they set us up with the potential peril. Ashford and Drummer were absolutely at loggerheads and at a point where they needed to, they'd actually kind of reached breaking point and to, to see them come together the way they did in that, oh, I'm gonna go again. That was really, really moving. And I think, I'm hoping Kamina is gonna live. And I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure yet, but I don't know if Ashford will. And I love that his moment of having that be his ship in that moment, he used it to do something truly benevolent and invite the rest of humanity into the ship to benefit from their gravity that they would be able to create from this the spinny thing. Oh god. I don't, if I'm going to lose my shit if Drummer dies, I'm not anywhere near ready to lose Drummer yet. So that is going to be a serious problem. I'm losing it just talking about the fact that she might. But her sacrifice in that moment is exactly why I love her so much. I, I actually, she was almost my MVP of this episode, actually, Kamina. I loved the section where she was guiding Ashford to do the... The thing, just actually seeing her in that mode and completely in the zone and just, and I think it would make a kind of sense if at this point everybody who's trapped in the ring pulls their provisions, their healthcare, everything that they can and just focuses on getting the mo most possible people out of that ring. This could be a moment to actually bring Earth, Mars and the belt together kind of like we had when um eros was heading towards earth and people just had to trust each other the problem is obviously afterwards people have short memories and could often go back to the way that they were behaving before i'm hoping that doesn't happen in this case but that's where all our dramatic tension comes from so careful what you wish for i cannot describe my level of joy that everyone on the road seat is alive and that stupid piece of crap Clarissa has been zapped. I, the last thing I imagined was that 
Anna's response to Clarissa taking off would be to don a vac suit and chase her out of that fucking thing. I've got major kudos for Anna right now. She is not fucking around. She killed her friend. Bets her off. I love when she arrived. I literally didn't even recognise her in the moment when she was there because it was like she didn't belong there. I'm honestly feeling a little bit emotionally done after that. I really, that moved me. Almost everything had me crying. What a beautiful episode. I did not expect that episode in the middle of all this. So much death though from the pools, the big pools. That was a massacre. I don't know. I'm glad all of our main people survived, but obviously we got now the issue. The Martians don't trust Jim, and I think Bobby's gonna end up having to rescue him because I think bad things are gonna happen on that ship. And he says he saw the end of it, the end of everything. I don't know how true that is. Bear in mind my theory of space time. You know, was is it the end of what we know? Was he witnessing the end of the civilization that was here before? Are they the same thing? I have no idea, but I really, really, really want to find out. Oh, thank you very much for watching this reaction. I am going to scuttle off now. I cannot believe we are down to the final couple of episodes of this. I'm not ready for it to be over, but I am ready to find out what the fuck's going on. So until the next time, bye-bye. Thank you for being a friend.